the circle of life. Now, Bunny, before we move on to our regular features here on the podcast, we need to, must have, we got to have a talk about Lucha Underground. Okay. Okay. Um, Lucha Underground is going through some shit. Okay. What's happening? We need to talk about it. So, Lucha Underground, the show I love, the first two seasons are on Netflix right now. You should watch it. They're in the middle of season three right now, and it's a really long... uh, It's something like, I don't know, like 40 or 50 episodes in season three. It's a huge season. Season two was a season. Uh, Season three is a huge one. And so they realized that they hadn't even gotten close to filming to starting filming season four and they realized that by the time they start filming season four season three will be done so they decided since this is a tv show and not a wrestling show let's just have a mid-season break yeah so halfway through season three they said okay we're going to stop doing up showing season three and we're not going to show them again until the end of May. So they've been off for quite a long period in time, and some people are really upset about that. Prince Puma, a.k.a. Ricochet, has in his contract, he's done filming for Lucha Underground, but in his contract, he cannot go to any other company until his last episode airs on Lucha Underground. Oh. So ready to be signed by the WWE. The WWE want to uh, sign him immediately, but they cannot because uh, Lucha Underground decided to cut season three and a half. So uh, Prince Puma is inches away from having the biggest moment of his career, but he's being screwed by this uh, mid-season break. So Puma's upset with Lucha Underground right now, but that's okay. Um, so in order for Lucha Underground to get a lot of their, um, luchadors, they made a deal with AAA Wrestling in Mexico. AAA Wrestling in Mexico is as big as the WWE is here. It's all over the place. It's, it's the big, it's the big uh, show. It's, it's huge. However, when it comes to the way that AAA treats their wrestlers, it's kind of sort of more like the WCW of Mexico. I, I, what, Maxwell? What? No, you have to wait on the next guest for a while, okay? I'm in the middle of talking, and, and you're just going to have to wait, okay? Sorry. So... Uh, AAA wrestling has a habit of not treating the wrestlers that nice and kind of dicking them over. Yeah. So uh, that's the reason why Conan was such a prominent figure in season one of Lucha Underground and then immediately disappeared because Lucha Underground has a deal with AAA wrestling. And so a lot of the wrestlers on Lucha Underground also work for AAA wrestling, but a Conan just got fucking sick of AAA wrestling. Oh. And so left near the end of season one of Lucha Underground, he left AAA wrestling and he started his own wrestling organization called Crash Wrestling. And it's okay. located in um, Mexico City. And it's been quite a while, but Crash wrestling the crash wrestling promotion in mexico is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it's turning into a really huge wrestling company uh-huh. mexico and so a lot of the triple a wrestling luchadors in the past year have left triple a wrestling and have signed with conan's crash wrestling promotion wow. so Lucha Underground is kind of screwed because they have this ironclad contract to work with AAA Wrestling, but some of their biggest names in Lucha Underground have left AAA Wrestling, so what the hell are they supposed to do now? Yeah. Some of the names include um, the man they call Cage, the okay. big, heavy, uh, roided-out white guy. Yeah, big... he, he annoys me. Yeah. but he's he, Because but he's I'm huge. a machine? They call me Cage because I'm a machine. Okay? Yeah. Okay, look. Yeah. Okay, I know you're a wrestler. I know you're not that that bright. That a cage and a machine are really two different things. Okay? Yeah. 
but you are a fucking wrestler. You should know what a cage is. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, so so yeah, uh, Cage is one of those is one of those people. Um, Sexy Star is one of those people. Sexy Star, yeah. Sexy Star left uh, AAA and is now working for. What, wait, what is that? Mean? We're not recording video, so it's okay oh. if you want to come in here. In my door? Uh, this was, I'm in my door. Okay, that's fine. Um, Emerald's clothes are in the washer. Yeah. Oh, Emerald's clothes were in the washer. Ah, uh, you found the name tag. Ah, uh, she can't escape. Well, I mean, I found the clothes as well. Oh, oh my God, when I was yeah. in the dryer. But this, even if you couldn't tell by the clothes, this is damning evidence. Yeah, right? Literally. So, so two other people who left AAA Wrestling to join uh, Crash Wrestling, two people include Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. At least two days. Interestingly enough, they don't mention this on Lucha Underground, but they're brothers. Oh, yeah, okay. Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix are actual brothers. Uh, Phoenix is the younger brother, and Pentagon Jr. is the older brother. They're a tag team together in in a trip. They were a tag team in AAA wrestling, and uh, when they left AAA wrestling to join Crash, they uh, AAA wrestling said, "Hey, we own those names, so you can't be Pentagon Jr. anymore, and you can't be Phoenix anymore." So. So Pentagon Jr. said, okay, fine, I'm going to change my name. Now I'm Penta L. Ohm, which I believe means Penta the One. So uh, so then AAA Wrestling is now suing them, and, and it, it, they're suing them back. Also, freaking, um, this is different because he has his own separate contract, but uh, Rey Mysterio also left AAA Wrestling to join Crash Wrestling. L- uh, Rey Mysterio Ooh. had his own individual contract, but everybody else is kind of up in the air. So Lucha Underground is now struggling to try and pick up the crash wrestlers who left AAA wrestling, but who are still big parts of Lucha Underground, and they're they're forced to give them these big uh, money contracts and shit like that. But AAA wrestling still has a, a ironclad contract with Lucha Underground, so AAA wrestling is telling Lucha Underground, hey, if you want to stay in this contract, if you sign anybody from Crash, you have to have on the contract that they cannot wrestle for. Conan anymore, and so it's it's becoming a big, huge, massive fucking wow. mess. Wow, yeah, unclear as to when um, season four will start filming, and it's kind of sort of all Conan's fault. But yeah, Lucha Underground, there's a lot of drama happening right now. Holy shit! Yeah, and, and yeah, I mean they haven't built up enough to be able to give out too many big money contracts. Yeah, you yeah, know? no, they are not. Maxwell, why are you putting snow pants on? Because you want to. Okay, that's a good answer. I just, I just wanted to ask. Uh, so, so yeah, that's that's Lucha Underground. Needed to talk about that. Uh, hold on a second. I got a bit distracted. I got a message from. Hey, sorry to bug you on your day off, but I have a question. Uh, do I want to do it on Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, because I can't have a day off. Basically, I can't have a day off from work. Uh, uh, okay. I just okay, so that's Lucha Underground. Also, interestingly enough, Vampiro has gotten a huge promotion. He's now in charge of talent management and in charge of, mm-hmm. I, I don't remember what, but all, all, he's in town. Well, and well. He's now an executive at Lucha Good for him. I, I think that makes some, because he's got to have contacts elsewhere in the wrestling world. I mean, 
Okay. There are a lot of there are a lot of little American groups. It would be kind of a shame because it would be seriously. I already think there are too many white people in Lucha Underground. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, if you gotta survive, you gotta survive. Right. As a company, as Lucha Underground, yeah. you know. So so maybe yeah. Vampiro has contacts where he can. I don't know, maybe contact Jeff Jarrett and get some people from there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some of the smaller wrestling organizations. Yeah. Ring of Honor, maybe. They're really super small. Yeah. Yeah. 